This tax shooter secretly shoots out 500 tax. And we're gonna be going even further than this by the end of this video, so hit that smash button and like that like button or whatever. Obviously, we're on balance, because who wouldn't want to be on balance for a freaking tax shooter? Let's just go ahead and plop him right down in the middle. Our first goal is to just get a regular tax zone. And we're on impoppable, so we've only got one life to do this. If we lose one life, we die and the video ends. So I better not. Let's get even faster shooting. We're just gonna go ahead and spam this bottom path for a little bit. Actually, maybe not, because now that I think about it, I need camo and a lead defense. And neither of those are cheap i think the cheapest route would to be to go for a shimmer and maybe just give that fireball for now to deal with the leads all right i mean we're alive so it worked we should be good okay look at that we can handle leads for now let's get that overdrive though and um honestly i really want an alk buff because if i can give this guy just some normal lead protection like i should be all right so we'll go acidic mixture dip and now this guy can see leads he can see camos because they get decamoed so life should be good but that price tag on the tag zone is pretty damn hefty ladies ladies and gentlemen. Let's get Berserker, Brew, and uh, Perishing Potions just to really buff this guy a little more. I'll even get Stronger Stimulant because this round 40 Moab's coming up and we should be good against it. Oh yeah, that was beautiful. All right, now let's get just a little farm going. I just want to get like one bank. If I can get one monkey bank, I should be able to save up enough money to easily go for attack zone without dying. Honestly, I don't even have to wait for this to fill up and I'm not going to. Let's just collect, delete, and go for the freaking attack zone. Now I can just work towards getting an MIB if I can find the place where I fit the village. There we go. Now that I got radar scanner, I mean, I can honestly sell this guy. I don't have to just yet. Eh, but you know what? I think I will. Okay, let's sell this and this. Go for the MIB. So now this guy can hit any type of balloon that he could ever dream of. And the best part is we don't have buffs on him. So let's go ahead. Um, You know, I got to do something first. Yeah, there we go. I want it on the left side so you can see it. We're going to press F1. And here you can see he's currently only shooting out 32 projectiles. That's not enough for this video. But I do want to see if he can solo round 6. 63 all by himself and if he can we're gonna go ahead and promote him from 32 to 100 projectiles that's like three times as good that's pretty damn good there are also other stats that we could change so i could buff the range if i wanted to which i might i don't know i don't think the tax actually follow we could up the pierce or i technically lower the the rate i don't know why i said pierce we can lower the rate or up the pierce and damage we can do all those but i kind of want to play around with the projectiles a little bit watch it shoot out 100 freaking tax per second all right we got the bf B yeah, bfb is fine Oh my goodness, I'm stuttering. I'm sorry, I just get nervous around someone as beautiful as you. That's why you hit that like button. All right, round 63. Okay, we do not handle round 63. That was bad. I'm gonna have to promote him to 100 anyway. All right, that's like our last chance to die there because if I die again, this is gonna reset. So let's put him at 100 projectiles. Now he should take care of round 63 pretty easily, right? Because that's basically three times the tag zone. Okay, I wouldn't say that was easily, but it did handle it. And I think it should be able to handle everything on words so for at least a little bit so as you can see i've got a little calculator up and the reason i'm doing this is just so that i can measure how much better this guy is so right now we've got three and then we're gonna multiply that by whatever our next move is in upgrading him so right now he's only three times as good which really isn't that great but at least he can take down a bfb i mean that's pretty cool i do wonder if he's gonna make it all the way up to round 80 but i don't know i think round 78 and 79 are gonna give him a bit of a problem i mean he survived this far like without that many issues so he's kind of good I don't know. I mean, oh, no, 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 no. We almost just died to that yellow. Well, I guess we're down back to 32. Let's go ahead. We'll make it 320. So now this is 10 times as good. There you go. 3, 2, and you can barely see the zero. So now this guy's officially 10 times as good as he originally was, and he should be able to handle round 75 with ease now. Oh my goodness. Look at that. Round 76, not even an issue, bro. The balloons don't even get inside of the circle. Oh, that is a nasty jump, bro. Did you see him just handle that ceramic wave? I didn't think the jump from three times as good to 10 times as good was gonna be this strong but you can already see it's starting to form like just a solid black ring around him that's pretty freaking cool even the fortified bfbz handles let's see if he handles a zomg that easily all right come on don't fail me now oh my goodness Oh my goodness, this man is too good. But this is still only 100,000th of the percentage of how good our, our end final goal is gonna be. I don't know why I just stuttered so hard. I'm having a little trouble with words, guys. Just give me a little bit of leeway. But this guy is only like 0.001% of what we're gonna get by the end of this video. And honestly, he might survive some of the round 90s. I know he's probably not gonna survive like round 95 or 98, but I think he can survive maybe 92, 93. This is gonna be our first DDT. Oh my goodness, I 
I couldn't even pause in time he defeated him so fast. Yeah, see, this guy's handling it pretty well. I mean, four ZOMGs really aren't that much to him. Round 93 might be... No, that was nothing, actually. Ooh, 94 takes a lot of peers. Yeah, we might get capped here. Or we might not. Holy crap. Round 95 might be an issue, but not even close to an issue. Not even a little bit. He just digested all of it like a balloon liquefier. 96 can't stop him either. Damn, what is gonna stop this guy? He might make it... Ooh, round 98. No, round 98 has to, bro. I'm already getting ready to up the damage or pierce because he's just gonna need it here. Yeah, okay. Let's double the pierce here. This might do like a little something because there are a lot of balloons here. So let me put times two on my calculator. Now we got 20 times as good. Honestly, I think just that extra pierce might have been enough. Yeah, that's all we needed because we were definitely getting pierce capped on round 98. And round 99, we're gonna take down like a breeze. Oh my goodness, we're already at the round 100 BAD, but before I even get to it, we gotta give him some more projectiles. Let's just double it as fast as we can. Okay, it's 640 should be the double, so that's basically, yeah, that's 640. So now this guy is 40 times as good, and he just swallowed that BAD. Holy crap. Gee, freaking G. Okay, so now we're at round 101 with a 40 X tag zone, and I mean, honestly, I'm pretty damn confident that he can survive a lot of these balloons, and reasonably so. I mean, he's handling all of them with ease, but honestly, I still am a little bit scared of him getting pierce capped, so I think we're gonna up the pierce all the way to 10, which means we have a 100 X tag shooter in our hands. Only another 999,900 X's for us to get to 1 million, so we got a long way to go. I'm surprised he's handling this many ZOMGs at once. I mean, this guy is a beast. Obviously, when we faster forward because he shoots so fast, it's gonna lag the hell out of my PC. But this guy is really damn strong. By the way, I'm kind of curious, which of these tack shooter cross paths are your favorite? Like, which of the paths are the best? I kind of mess with the super maelstrom, bro. I'm not gonna lie. It's just fun to play with. I'm kind of curious about how many balloons this guy's popped, though. So we're on round 12. How many is he at? Damn, he's almost at 6 million. Holy, this guy's popping everything, bro. And we just kind of casually saved up like 200 grand, you know, no biggie. Okay, this looks insane. Th this looks like there's no way in hell he's gonna pop all of these, but I think he's gonna find a way. Yep, he's just gonna find a way to pop all through round 116. This guy's actually crazy. Fortified DDT scaled up, not even a problem, bro. Oh, we got more BADs though, and these guys are stronger than ever, so I might have to buff this guy. All right, you know what, for making it to 119. If he makes it to 120, we'll go ahead and buff him, and he obviously does. This one button is absolutely gonna change how good this guy is. Let's go ahead and change him from one damage to two damage, and now he is twice as good. This guy is 200x what he started off as, and I mean, the whole world just got twice as easy for him. Like, he's doing so much damage, it's not even funny. Let's skip ahead a little bit, though, because I don't think rounds 120s really matter. So let's try round 130. Let's see what the round 130s have in store for us. Some DDTs really aren't a problem, and neither are the Moabs. I don't know why those would be. Fortified ZOMGs are pretty tanky, and we've got a lot of them. Eh, but they're nothing for him. It's not that big of a deal, and he's just about to cross 10 million pops! Woo! It's only gonna go way higher from here. This MIB needs to step up, bro. This guy's got zero pops while the attack shooter's got 10.4 mil. That's not even fair. All right, he's handling these fortified ZOMGs, but can he take down round 140 with the first fortified BAD in BTD6? Let's freaking find out. All right, we're about to have it in the radius. He's doing thousands of damage per second. I don't know if that's enough. He's get Okay, he's getting for the freaking layer down. Oh, this guy might be stronger than I predicted, bro. That is, that's actually scary off as he's shredding it. For attack zone, oh my goodness, the disrespect by him. So obviously we can handle a BAD way easier. Holy moly. You know what? For that, let's go ahead and up the damage even more to five. It went from two to five, which is a really small difference. It's only three, but it's so much better now. Matter of fact, it's over two times as good as it just was, which means it's absolutely gonna shred everything in its way. I kind of want to see how much better this guy is against round 140, even though it is the same round we just popped. Let's see how much faster he's taking down this BAD, and honestly, that, yeah, yeah, I can see how that's 2.5 times faster. What's another good 
All right, well, I definitely died on round 169, having five damage and 10, pier 10 pierce. I don't know my 10. So I guess we're going to double this pierce. We'll go up to 20, which means this is officially our 1,000 x tag shooter. Let's go ahead and see how good he is. Can this guy actually pop round 169? I think he's got it now that the tags aren't being limited. I feel like that's a really big thing on a map like Balance, where everything is so close together. You can just really easily get pierce capped, and if you do, it's just over. So let's see. We should be good we're popping through the BADs a lot slower than usual, obviously, because balloons scale just so much faster after round 140. It's not even funny. And we make it to round 170. We're still only one over 1,000 of how good this guy's gonna be by the end of this video. And that's just crazy to think about. Like, this beautiful guy right here is soloing round 170! But it would still take an entire screen of him. I would have to put tag zones all over the map just to replicate what he's gonna be in one single tower by the end of this. It's just stupid to think. But you know what? For beating round 169, we're starting to struggle a bit against the BADs. So I think it's about damn time we double our projectiles and we don't give it to someone else. This is going to take a while. All right, one more and we've got... Oh, wait, no, not one more. What am I talking about? 41 more. And then we've got 1280 projectiles, which is double what we just had. So uh, this guy is only the jump between 1000 x and 2000 x which means if i wanted to make this guy a 1 million x tag shooter i'd have to give him 640 000 projectiles and ladies and gents i don't know if you understand how this game works but that's a little bit too much for any nasa computer to handle so i think 1280 is pretty good right i mean that's still a lot more than 32 i'm gonna tell you what though it feels like no matter how much we upgrade him there's always a bad at some round that's just too tough for him okay maybe not too tough but but like, look at how slow he's popping this BAD, bro. It gets into the circle, and then it makes it like halfway around it. That's too damn far. I can't risk that, especially if there's fortified BADs, especially if there's like 40 fortified BADs on the floor. I don't know. I just wanted it to rhyme. But like, that's a lot of damage that this guy's got to do. And I don't know if he can serve it up, even though he does have 46.5 million pops. So uh, I think it's enough for the projectiles over here. I, I think it's enough for this pure stuff. We got to upgrade the damage once again. And I don't think... I think we're going lightly ladies and gentlemen we are going from five damage to 25 meaning this guy is 10,000 times better than he originally was this guy should now shred bad's with ease all right look at this we got our first bad coming in let's see how we handle oh my goodness oh my goodness it doesn't even touch the inside of the circle that's perfect and it may not look like it right now but that was absolutely necessary if we want to make it to round 200 and beyond because i'll just give you guys a taste of the rounds 190s just take a look at how much damage he has to do to pop everything. Look, I'm gonna start talking right now and he's already gotten 2.6 million pops and now it's like 4.5 or whatever. So even having 25 damage isn't gonna be that much, but he still should shred BADs relatively quickly. It's not as quick as it used to be and it's certainly not gonna be as quick when there's fortified BADs, but this guy's still a 10,000 X. Like, this is a big deal. We've moved from having one 100,000th of a 1 million next to now we're in the first one percent which still means i've got to multiply this guy by a hundred that being said i want to see if this guy can handle round 200 so we're gonna put it on round 199 just to kind of get that confirmation to see if we can really handle round 200 or at least to see if we can handle everything up until round 200 and i think we should honestly because it's just not that hard of a round minus the surplus of bad's that just decided to come out of nowhere dude we are honing in on a hundred million pops we got a fortified round 200 bad getting absolutely blended and obliterated in the mix let's see do we get 100 million pops on round 200 no i don't think so but we're pretty damn close and we got a monkey sub yay well we've got 100 million pops um now only like 9 billion more to go before he's a tier 1 million or i guess a 1 million x he's not really a tier 1 million he's like a fake tier 1 million let's try round 240 though because i know that round is also pretty hard mostly because it's a bigger number but you get my point oh yeah that'd be BAD is going through it, bro. That is scary, especially when there's four or three board of fortified, fortified, three fortified BADs in the mix. Oh no, we might die here. Uh oh, uh, we might die here. I got to double the damage, ladies and gentlemen. I had to double the damage there because we were about to die. So now we've got a 20x and he can definitely handle round 240. Let's try round 280 out on him. Lots of DDTs, but honestly, DDTs have never been an issue with attack zone. Like this guy's absolutely blazing through everything. He's already gotten another 50 million pops, which is 
crazy to think that we just hit 100 million like a second ago. Ooh, fortified VAD. Wow, that is way tougher than it used to be. What the hell? These guys get freaking strong real quick. All right, I'm not gonna count this in the um in, in the multiplying it, but I think I'm just gonna up the range to see what happens. I'm pretty sure what happens is because the projectile lifespan is so damn short for the attack shooter. He's gonna shoot. Yeah, he's got infinite range now. So he should shoot, but he's not gonna do damage up until they get into the range. I think that just makes it a little bit more like an inferno ring, which is kind of cool. I don't think it really helps all that much. Maybe like the slightest bit, but I'm not gonna count it because there's just no way to measure that. Oh my goodness, bro. I gotta double the pierce now because I'm feeling it. So let's go 40 pierce here, not 45, 40. And now it's like every time I double something, the numbers just go up so much higher. We are at 40,000, which is a whopping 4% of our final product. That is just silly. Like this guy right here on round 282. I can't even faster forward him that fast because my computer breaks. This is 4% of our final product right here. This is just 4% of it. Oh, dude, and we're still not shredding this thing that fast? That is kind of scary. But let's see if we can make it up. I mean, let's see if we can beat this round, actually, because this one might be tough. Oh, dude, look at that fortified BAD that was just circling around. I don't know, bro. This might be too damn, too damn uh, strong. Let's up the damage a little bit. I'm not even gonna measure how much I up it by because I know exactly what I'm doing here. I'm thinking about this very intentionally because there's a specific number I want to go to for a specific reason and you'll understand in a little bit. But right now we're at 80. I don't know. This is like 1.6 times. So this is like 64 times at the original. 64,000. I mean, I think I just said 64. And if this is 64, 64 times as good as attack zone, bro. Attack zone is OP. But this should be 64,000 times as good. But uh, there's, a, there's, a, there's a specific damage number that I want to get to. And you know what? I think we're just going to have to go for it. Let's go all the way from 80 to 114 damage. Weird number. I know. It's not a round number. It's not a beautiful number like you'd expect. Now, this is how much better our attack zone is right now than a normal attack zone. And for those of you math nerds out there, go ahead and comment. I get it. If you understand why I'm at this number, it is a very important number with this tax shooter. But right now, we've just, we'll, we'll call it a 90,000 X, even though it's a very specific number. We've got our 90,000 X tax shooter just kind of chilling here. Like, I think this guy's pretty set to destroy an F bad, right? Yeah, I mean, he's shredding it. But I do want to see can this guy handle round 300, right? This is a round that's really hard to get to, even on like normal vanilla gameplay. So I'm kind of surprised that this guy can make it up there, even though, you know, he is 90,000 times as good as attack shooter because you do still got to think about the speed of the balloons like the speed scales along with the strength so those two combined I mean that's a deadly freaking force yeah we we beat it like it's nothing okay that that was way too easy but ladies and gentlemen for those of you who were astute enough to notice there's one stat that we have not even touched on this attack shooter and that would be the rate so we are gonna go ahead and lower the rate from 0.11 to cut it in half Half. It says 0 0.06, but it's technically 0 0.055. So now this just went from a freaking 90,000 to, wait for it, wait for it, a 181,818x. And this just looks stupid. Look at this. This actually looks insane. It almost looks like a really fast Glaive Lord look. I'm going to put a Glaive Lord up just for comparison, just so you can see. Imagine this, but like a million times faster. Or if we had a million of these Glaives. That, that's pretty much what this guy looks like right here. He's just got circles at this point. It's not even like an Octagon or a 32 Agon like it used to be. It doesn't even look like it's shooting out of him. But it, it's true. He's shooting out this many and we're just going so fast that we can't even know it. Look, you can kind of see it sometimes when he gets pierce capped. You can see it like shrink and then go back to its normal size. It's really weird, bro. And he's already reached a billion pops. But um, I, I think I'm going to up the round a little bit. We're going to try to go to round 340 just to see if this actually works. Ladies and gentlemen, there's only one more button I need to click to turn this guy from a 181,000 to a perfect 1 million X tax zone. And that is going to be to up the rate from 0 0.06 to the lowest we can possibly go. 0 0.01. Look at the disc look at the void that swallows our tag zone now that we've made our freaking rate 
one every or 100 every one second you can see the spiral that forms from it that's like a perfect golden ratio or something and here he is ladies and gentlemen this is our perfect 1 million x tag zone and i'm gonna turn auto start off because you stuck around with me until the very end of this video there is one more thing that i want to do that should lag the hell out of this game i just gotta wait for the round to end all right let's get some upgrades on this guy that i might regret we're gonna push past the million x this wasn't planned at all but uh let's just up the damage a little bit all right we got some 10x damage so he's a 10 million that's not bad let's up the pierce a little bit okay so now he's got 10x pierce so now he's 100 million okay he's something let's up the projectiles to 12,800. i'm about to be here for longer than i waited for the round to end come on just a little more okay 12,800 projectiles let's uh we'll go to like round seven 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 because we love god here and let's just give it a shot see what happens oh okay so we don't even want to shoot oh wow holy okay we're getting the we're getting the the thing the hourglass dude this is just a solid disc this looks like a porcupine or a hedgehog not i don't know one of them could you imagine being a bloom and, and just running into that like being forced to smack yourself into a 1 billion x tack zone like look just imagine you're this bad right here la, 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 la. Ah! yeah that'd probably suck well i think this challenge is done 